All right, guys, so we're about 60 miles away from top of descent here. As you can see this little T slash D on the navigation display. So I should start the approach, the arrival and the approach brief pretty soon. We've been already cleared en route when we yep, switched over to Oakland Center. The We've been cleared to the descent stick. with the um, Diamond 2 arrival. And the altimeter at San Fran is 3002. We're going to get the ATIS right now. And get the full info as we need it. 2.10. Altimeter 3002. Tip toe visual approach runway to 8 left in use. Quiet bridge visual approach runway to 8 right in use. Departing runway 1 left. 1 right. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. All VFR departures, contact clearance delivery with your aircraft type, initial heading, and requested cruise altitude. Operate transponder with mode C on all taxiways and runways. Advise on initial contact you have Charlie. Okay, so Charlie. San Francisco International Airport information Charlie. 1956 Hulu. Line 280 at 13. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 700. Temperature 19er. 2.10. Altimeter 3002. Tip toe visual approach runway to 8 left in use. Okay, we hear the rest. Quiet bridge visual approach runway to 8 right in use. Departing runway 1 left. So we're going to get the probably the quiet bridge 28 right or tiptoe 28 left. I expect it's going to be the quiet bridge from this sector. And uh, other than that, altimeter 3002, few clouds 700, so pretty much uh, very good weather, 10 miles visibility. So let's go down to the FMS. Our arrival says Diamond, just cross-checking that Diamond 2700, uh, 27,000 or above, that's checked. Then lane 26 between 220 and 260, 280 knots. So we got 260 over here, that's good. Always flows between 14,000 and 190, 280 knots, that's good. Seeds between 10 and 12, so we got 12 below, 250 knots. Checks out freely, 8,000 above and 240 knots. And Archie 230, and even though the chart says 7,000, well, there's an OTAM out for 8,000. The rest of the approach that we have in here is for the ILS one, uh, ILS two eight right, and the ILS two eight right starts at Archie, then Zild six thousand, Gur five thousand, Dumba four thousand or above, and a Dumba will be joining the final approach course. Then it's Seepin three thousand or above, Axmal one thousand eight hundred feet or above final approach fix, and then there's the runway go around procedure. Radial 281, San Francisco, so minimum climb 420 feet, then we turn and direct VQ, climbing 3,000 feet. So 3,000 feet would really go around there if we were on the ILS, minimum 200 feet above threshold elevation or 220 feet above ground elevation since we'll be above water. Now, we're going to get the visual, so I'm going to brief the visual here. The visual procedure starts at Archie at 8,000 or above, heading 260 to intercept the San Francisco VOR, which is 115.0, which we have tuned in over here on the nav radio, radial inbound radial 275, so 275 over here, then we'll follow that radial distance 20, we want to be 6,000 or above, distance 15, cent, we want to be 4,000 or above, distance 10, 2,500 or above, and as we're crossing the San Mateo Bridge or distance 6, San Francisco, 1,800 feet or above, then we'll want to align with the localizer, which we have tuned into the uh, NAV-1 standby, which I have here on my radio panel. You can't see it over here because the model for the IXCG does not have a standby frequency, that, but that's what I have sort of set in my other, uh, in my other frequency here. Inbound course 284. And let's check the notes. Minimums, weather minimums are ceilings 2,100 feet, 5 miles visibility, no problem. We are well within that. When visual approaches, the notes here on the chart say, when visual approaches to runway 2, left and right are in progress. Arriving aircraft may be vectored into a position for a straight in visual approach to runways 2, left and right via radial 095 San Francisco. So that's 275 out outbound. Aircraft should remain on 095 San Francisco until passing the San Mateo Bridge. 
Note, closely spaced parallel approaches may be in progress to runway 2 at left use utilizing, utilizing ISFOs that be the runway 2A left localizer. In the event of a go around for runway 28 right, we want to turn right heading 310, climb maintain 3000 or as, up, or as directed by ATC. Runway length today is going to be 3600 meters and we'll do a performance check here with Topcat. And there it is. Landing 28 right, we'll update the weather. And we can take flaps 40, auto number 1 braking. Actually, let's take auto number 2. 401 contact San Marie Tower, 118.3. So we got 1,600 meters remaining. Due to the wind, we've got wind along the runway. The calculated approach speed here, let's check that out over here. Let's go over here. I'll take flaps 40, I don't want to go too fast today. So 132 is going to be our VREF. So 132 is our VREF. And we got about 13 knots headwind, 5 knots, an additional half of that. That'd be about 152, I'm going to take 140, that's good enough for me. 150 is our flaps 15 maneuvering. 170 is our flaps 5 maneuvering speed and 190 is our flaps 1 maneuvering speed. So that's the bug set. The landing elevation is 10 feet. So that's all set up and the pressurization went very good. And we'll be aiming to exit over Tango and we'll be parking at Terminal 3. The VA has assigned to me gate 72 but gate 72 as a fact no I know that the model in San Francisco I have is going to be occupied by a standard aircraft so we'll t taxi gate 75 so taxi will take us tango cross to, f to a left tango and probably cross kilo alpha and to the terminal so that's it for the arrival brief we've been cleared to descend with the SIDS so I'm gonna go over to my MCP here and set in the initial constraint of 270 at Diamond. And about, once we're about, uh, I'm gonna say maybe five miles or four miles, I'm gonna start to gentle down using the vertical speed mode so that we sort of soften the blow of the sudder, sudden dip of the airplane on the passengers there. There's about five miles, so it's a good time to slowly start descent. And then once we intersect the course there, I'm going to re-engage V now. Parkport, taxi to parking via Apple, we'll see you. And I'm going to call him in now. All Center, United 1109 are starting our descent. There it comes. Slowly increase the rate. About like that. Make the descent sort of gentle. Gentler. I should say this airplane still has kind of a tendency to dive bomb things, so gotta keep an eye on that. And I will expect to you be using the speed brake here liberally. Because this thing does not want to slow down. Just going to check my fuel. At Diamond we were supposed to have 3.3 .3 according to our fuel planning. And what's our progress page say? Diamond 3.5, even better. Very good. Keep our heading synchronized here. We're not getting too bad over scan on the ra weather radar there, so not getting too much ground return. Maybe a little bit further out it would be. Okay, so we're leaving the deserts behind. We 
And after diamond, we can go down further to 220. So I'll tune that in. Two two zero is at lane. We can strain to two hundred and eighty knots. And I have my NAV two radio by the way, this thick needle there. That's currently tuned over to which is 116.8, which be Oakland VOR. Oakland VOR is an on route track VOR, so that's why we're seeing it from, we're receiving it from way over 200 miles away. Whereas the, uh, uh, the VOR at San Francisco is only for approaches and sort of a low range, so I think it's maybe it'll, we'll receive it from about 600. Actually, 60. 60 miles away, not 600. There we go, 280 knots. That's about what the airplane is trying to maintain here. And we want to cross lane 260 or below. 269, 268, and it'll about do it right. Just as we're about to cross lane, it'll sort of cross within 100 feet. Let's see, one mile to lane. And there you go. Just trying to maintain the 280 knots with power. Point one. And there you go. There it is. About right now we're crossing over a lane and we're within maybe 100 feet of it. After a lane, flows is the next constraint here. It should be 14,000 feet. So 14,000 is coming into the MCP. <coughs> and I think I'm going to have to maintain the power here by hand a little bit because this thing is spazzing out. It's trying to go uh, into the retard mode where it just pulls back the power all the way and then it disengages the auto thrust servo. So this thing here goes from retard into arm <coughs> and when it sees the <coughs> and when it sees the speed decay too much, it'll re-engage power, and it goes back into retard. Gonna take the range down a little bit more on the nav display. There it is, and now it's arm. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of manual throttle. Right now, I'm manually controlling the thrust. Since we are in arm mode, the auto throttle servos are disengaged, so I can manually control it. It does need a little bit of hand tuning. The VNAV descent uh, performance calculation is not 100% accurate. So I'm going to sort of fine tune it by hand. So it'll be 280 at flows. There it is, 279, 280, about there. Flows is going to be flight level 190 or below. After that, seeds 1, 2000 or below. And 3002 is the altimeter. Double one eighty five, space ground, runway two five right taxi via Charlie Bravo.
Ooh, we've got some pretty lakes over there. Actually, it looks like sort of an irrigation system or something. Flows 280. Seeds 250 knots, actually. So a little greenish circle that you see down here. This thing, that's not part of the green banana here. That's in the bit uh, separated from that. That means a deceleration segment. One eight thousand, actually one little one nine or five. Once you cross one nine or zero, I'm gonna start the sort of by hand. Actually, not the by hand portion. Yeah, actually, there we go. Flight. Aircraft took control of the throttles again. So I'm just going to shove them back. And I'm going to set in the altimeter setting now. 3002. Now 3, 2. First setting, second one, and third one. Now we can compare notes here. 18200 is checked. Landing lights are coming on, and the fasten seatbelt signs. And we'll do portions of the approach checklist now. So we're gonna go do a quick recall. We need to check actually our set my standby pressurizations for 200 feet below field elevation at San Francisco, and we gotta give it a little bit of speed break here because it's. Flight profile yeah, is pretty steep. Yeah, contact NorCal approach one two zero point nine or five. See ya. One two zero point nine or five. United eleven zero nine. See ya. NorCal approach United eleven zero nine or one one thousand five hundred. Descending with the arrival information, Charlie. Yeah, that was our nine NorCal approach uh, after Archie cleared out last runway two eight left approach. San Francisco altimeter three zero zero two. Can I request the quiet bridge visual for two eight right for United eleven zero nine. United eleven zero nine. Yes, you can. Uh, stand by one second. Let me double check something. Actually, you I don't want to right there, left. Two eight right, please, for United eleven zero nine. Sort of leveled off there when I didn't want to. So I'll keep the speed break up. Continue the descent there. Cabin controls checked. Auto brake is going to be level two. Speed bugs are set. And below the transition level altimeters are set and cross checked. Approach checks are completed. Yeah, 1109 across Archie at 8000, cleared. Quiet bridge, visual, runway 28 right approach. Archie at 8000, cleared. Quiet bridge, visual 28 right approach, United 1109, thank you. Actually, I want to set in number 2 radio here to. Tower 120.5 and ground is 121.8. One Very good. And seeds at 250 knots. 12,000, there we go. I'm going to take the range down a little even more. As I said, we're going to be riding the speed brake quite a bit, quite hard today. Okay, 250 knots. I'm going to take all the landing lights on now, even the wing-mounted ones. Actually, the outboard ones, the ones that are out on one of the flap control mechanisms. Ones that extend. Just not wanting to slow down, are you? Oh, there we go. She's leveling off to be 250 or below. 
at 10,000 feet. Freely is at 8. So I'll we'll set that in the MCP. 10,000 feet. And we're below 250 knots. Everything else over here is looking good. Okay, speed brakes coming back in. Archie's going to be at 8. And I'm actually going to take it over and just... United 1109 contact, North Cal approach, 135.65. 3565, United 1109. -er. North Cal approach, United 1109, -er, passing 9200, uh, descending with the arrival. Yeah, 1109 North Cal Approach, Roger, altimeters uh, 3002. 3002, United 1109. -er. Yeah, I'm going to pre tune number one radio to 120.5. Actually, I'm going to take the speed down a little even more than this, and we'll give it a little bit more speed break. So, after Archie, for the quiet bridge, we're going to be heading 260. And then continuing our descent down further. So minimum range here. Heading select. Keep descending. W185 Las Vegas Tower, wind 180 at 11, gas 21, runway 25 right, quick takeoff. And we want to go down over here to VOR. Select the VOR mode. We're almost on the VOR profile there. 20 miles, we're going to be 6 or above. So I'm going to take that over here. Like that. And I want to be keep the level change mode. I don't know why it's changing over to vertical speed mode. And let's go back to 210 knots. Our flaps up maneuvering speed. Vorlock has engaged, so heading 275. And there's the San Mateo Bridge. It's this thing right here. There's the field. And we're about on the approach there. You can drive out some flaps, so flaps one. We're past 20 miles, so we can go down to 4,000. It should be at 15 miles. I want to keep our s keep descending, keep descending. No need for the speed brake anymore. the flight level change going, you stupid thing. Slow down to 190. I'll take flaps 5. Actually, let's take the speed back to 180. And we should be able to see this sort of side picture looks pretty good for a standard approach here. We'll ding the cabin, tell everybody to sit their asses down. Ten miles, we want to be 2,500 or above. So yeah, yeah you might need a little bit of speed brake. So we're a little bit high.
Blue 185, Las Vegas departure, right of contact. Complete the altitude restriction at Roper. I'm going to take heading select here for now. I'm going to switch over the now radio here to 111.7. Course is going to be 284 for the ILS. Keep going down. 2500 about there. Now we'll take gear down. Laps 15. Speed back to 160. Speed brake is armed. Now I'll take a left here. Yeah, we're definitely still too high. Yeah, 1109 in contact, San Francisco Tower, 120.5. Over to Tower, United 1109. -er. Once I get my altitude winded down enough. Okay, switching over to tower. One to one point eight. It's gonna be ground. Twenty five hundred. San Francisco Tower unit you know, eleven zero nine visual two eight right. Yeah, eleven zero nine of San Francisco Tower, only two eight right, cool and wind is uh two eight zero one three. Two eight right, clear land, United Lemons are enter. Okay, take a left here, we're about over the bridge there, not quite yet. But we lost altitude pretty good. Actually a little bit further to the left. And I think I'm gonna I might take it from here. And we'll slow it down to our final approach speed. Flaps 30. It's got a 6182 Gulf Channel. And flaps 40. There we go, that's about on profile. Clear the land. Got a 6182 Gulf Uh. You're with and do the guard, your, own, your own guard frequency, actually. You need to be with uh, John Wayne clearing. Okay, start switches are continuous. Speed brake is armed with a green light. Gear is five, down, three, two, three, four, five, five. and three greens. And uh, the flaps are 40 with a green light, and I don't have the time to look down. So I gotta focus now. And manual throttle. 1, This airplane is pretty heavy on the no sub moment of the engines, so I gotta keep an eye on that. Wind's coming along the runway. John Wayne Cleon, Skyline 6182 Golf, IFR to John Wayne, Asphalt, uh, seeking the I 1 rating. Approaching 2-8 right. Using the ILS here, glide slope a little bit Scott also for the Gold, alignment. Oh, yeah, I see I two whites and two reds. Power is about where I need it. Expect 3, Ones are departure. departure frequency, Checked. Coming up a little high. 400. Clear to John Wayne Airport. Uh, uh, fly heading 220, radar vector to seal beat VR direct, uh, 2000, expect 3000, uh, departure 128.1 on ID on the, uh, the squawk. 6182 Golf. 6182 Golf, rebound correct, squawk 5707. 100. 
Fox croaking 5707 6182. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. 2,700 remaining. And it's just idle reverse. 2,400 remaining. 2,100 remaining. And the reverse is coming in, manual braking. 800 remaining. Thank you, Betty. Yeah, we can take the speed brake up. San Francisco Tower, United 1109, are clear of 28 right on Tango. I'll leave the strobe zone for the runway cross. Yeah, 1109, right to cross runway 28 left at Tango Taxi Park can be a Tango Kilo Alpha monogram. Cross 28 left on Tango to the parking via Tango Kilo Alpha monogram, United 1109. One, zero, right. Okay, as far as I can tell, runway is clear. And weather radar is coming off. Auto brakes off. Tango Kilo. Okay, so that's pretty much as we planned, so we want to go straight ahead over here. Yep. As far as I can see, runway is clear. Then want to cut over Kilo to Alpha over here. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, I see it. That's Kilo. Nice. So clear left. Strobes off. John Wen, Ground Skyline 6182 Golf uh, with Zulu at the east ramp seeking a uh, taxi to the run up, yeah. mid run up, midfield run up. So, uh, 6182 If Golf. you can come on. Okay, and I can start cleaning up the airplane proper. Okay, so pedo statics coming off. We've got 6182 off, gentlemen ground, squawk out to verify squawking. And we want to uh, switch over to monitor ground, 121.8. Just going to quickly check Checking frequency. Checking my squad's uh, 6182 off. Yes, 121.8. One. APU is now available. Nobody hiding there behind that strut. And we'll take it over spot eight. Five seven three Yankee Zulu lost center seven. Zulu. Normally here we'd be talking to ramp control. Uh, squawk six 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 four. I'm gonna take the electricals onto the APU now. Uh, Derek, I'm calling six. A little bit slower through the turn. Ten knots maximum. Right. Get plane. It's got a six one eight to go for only two zero left to kilo. All right, we'll clear across. Uh, seeking the midfield uh, run-up area for 6182 Golf. Skyline 82 Golf. Right, can uh, come off. Mid taxi midfield run-up via Alpha. Midfield run-up via Alpha 6182 Golf. Thank you. 
Make sure the flight director can come off as well. No, but it about to run under us. Wonderful. Earth's gate 75, open. Easy on the brakes. And taxi lights off. We don't want to blind the ramp agent. He's telling me to turn right is wrong. I know where the line is, my friend. There we go. Now we agree. Okay, parking brake set. APU is on the bus, so engine shut down. Okay, and shut down items. So I gotta take these guys off. And anti-collision off. And the transponder is off. And shut down checklist. Fuel pumps off except for the one for the APU. Pedo heats are off. Hydraulic panels set. Flaps are up, parking brake is set, engine start limits are cut off, and weather radar is off, shutdown checklist complete. Okay, thank you guys for joining me on this flight here, and I hope to talk to you and see you in the next video. I'll see you guys. Cheers.